Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another awesome video on the channel. Yes, our third episode of Minecraft Safari Park, also known as Minecraft Wild Animals. Today we are back in the enclosure. I have moved every single one of our little Australian birds into here. Looking pretty good, especially with the shaders, although they are quite noisy. Another enclosure. We have something more important to attend to first. So without further ado, let's get started. So guys, here's what I wanted to show you. Phoenix dust, I got some more in a cave. I also got redstone, lapis, diamonds, I even made a axe. And I got the obsidian to make a portal. So this we have seven phoenix dust. But to get a phoenix egg, we need eight and a normal chicken egg. So I think I found a place where we can get some more phoenix dust. So let's make our way there right now. Okay, so we're on the outskirts of a wasteland. It should be a, oh, there it is. Okay. It's a mostly buried desert tunnel. Now it's best if we dig our way in, because then we don't take much fall. down slowly so that we don't land on the pressure plate at all. Okay. First of all, get rid of that. That can go and... Okay, we have tons of stuff in here. Let's collect every single bit of this phoenix dust. The string. I guess I'll take the book. Alright, so we have a total of 15 phoenix dust. We just need one more and we can actually have two phoenixes. But for the purposes of this, we're just gonna make one. I got myself the chicken egg that we need. Now, here's what we shall do. Phoenix dust, just like that. Chicken egg. The phoenix egg is our final result. Let's also make ourselves a structure to raise this egg within. So for that, we need, just need to chop down another tree. Or it's just not gonna work for us. Okay. So we're gonna put this by our other bird raising thing. So let's make sure there's plenty of space. I'll grab an extra tree, stack of wood. Okay. Oh, random wire bird egg, eggshell. Okay, so now clear out this little area just a bit. Throw everything we don't need in the pit. 
Okay, sticks. That. Probably that, and that, and that also. Okay, so. No bad wildflower. Okay, so. Okay, there's our egg. Okay, so the egg seems to be pretty good. Except it's a bit too bright. So I can pick this back up. If I dig underneath, and then grab a block, fill it in. How much light is that? Okay, that should work. Okay, first part of the day done. That's pretty nice. We got a phoenix cooking. Now, next thing we're going to need is to go through that portal and into the grand world of the nether. But before I do that, I'm going to do a chest to save my inventory. I'll do this every time in front of the portal. Because if I die, I don't want to lose my inventory. Okay, we're fully set up to go into the nether. Now, let's light this portal. There we go. Now, let's see what our nether looks like. Well, it looks like I've come out in the nether. Although there is quite the shader glitch, so in the nether, I'm going to turn these shaders off. Now we have tons of inventory space, so much that we're probably not going to need it. And that's a problem, these blossoms hurt me. What if I collect them? Okay, we have to collect the blossoms with shears. These little trees are certainly interesting. Bar. Okay. I was thinking if we do a phoenix exhibit, these flowers would work well. Collecting the soil. Okay, just another wrap. Not much of a big deal. I think I can, I think I can, but he couldn't. There's a pig man, I tend to stay, stay clear of those guys. Anybody who's seen Amberleaf or Minecraft Jurassic World knows that I don't like pig men. Oh no, he has a sword. Shall I engage? So the pigmen are on my side here, at least for now. Wow, that's a weird biome over there. I think I've been in one of those before. Hellbark saplings, 13 ivy, 48 hellbark wood, 25 burning blossoms, and 16 nether quartz. I think I should be good off here for now. So the nether expedition turned out that it went really well. And we have bread, which I was going to need at some point, and didn't 
feel like getting wheat, even though I could just get it from the village up there. Okay. Our phoenix egg is still at its first stage, but should improve. First thing I'm totally going to do is add some more dust to the chest. Anytime we need another phoenix, use that. So a phoenix enclosure is actually going to be part of my future aviary, but the aviary shan't be built yet. Okay, so our exhibits are looking good. Nice and good. Our next one is going to be our biggest project yet, though. I think our biggest project so far would have been this. Our biggest project yet will be our next one. And I will not spoil what it is. Okay, so guys, the first thing we're going to need is sand. And I need a lot of sand. I need about six stacks of it. I mean, even some extra would be good for future exhibits. So, I'm just going to say that this vehicle is saving my life. It's just so convenient. It's probably going to run out of fuel fast. So once again, we're going to need uh, somebody to sell us some of that, but it should be good. So we're in the desert now. Let us stop here. And let me just dig for about, you know, two hours. <laughs> Great, our vehicle broke down, but I guess that's pretty good timing because soon we're going to have a better vehicle in the form of a phoenix. Oh, elephants. And look, there's a mesa biome. That's something to explore soon. Probably when we have a phoenix. <gasps> Dogs! That's going to be a cute exhibit. And meerkats. This is an area we should remember. Okay. Got our stuff back. Morning. Now it's time to continue our daily adventures. I don't know why, but too many of the animals in this mod seem to be aggressive, so... Speaking of which... We're going to be getting one of those aggressive mobs right now. Mob is going to require a lot of care. But while that is happening, we do need to get all the sand smelted. And let's see. Yeah, hellbark wood looks good. Let's use some of that for this exhibit also. Okay. Anytime we encounter a creature that we want to use in the future, we can just catch it and keep it in the chest for a while. What be here? This be the prairie biome, where the creature I want to do shall be. Squids. Okay, so... I, I haven't seen any of them yet, but I'll be able to tell when they're around because yeah, they almost always attack me with brutal force. Might actually have to go to the other side of this forest to find some. Yep, there is one of our creatures right now. Probably just grab two because I don't think too many would fare well many of these, okay. Now, we want to go for one that's alone. Because if we go for multiple, we're going to get attacked. This one looks very alone and distressed. I'm going to... Approach with caution. Okay, got him. 
these are the ones we're gonna want to avoid. These are the aggressive territorial ones. Let's see if we can find any others that might be in need of assistance. No, that one looks just kind of like you can Okay, we got two black rhinoceroses. Now we shall return to our house. Okay, so we're back with two rhinos. I also got myself a fox, because he was looking very alone in the forest. Let's see how this is going. We're already running out of wood on many different fronts. Put some more in. Maintain this. Just keep in the rhinos. And then grab the glass. This isn't gonna look like enough, but we're actually making glass panes, so. Oh dear, my pinky's numb and it feels so weird, okay. Okay, that, that might just be enough. Okay. Got everything, now we just have to go to bed and then we can start building our enclosure. So here's the thing, the path hasn't been expanded far out enough. But it should be fine to just kind of do this my own way. So, one, two, three, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, start the enclosure right this block here. So we might have to do a little bit of clearing, but I'm not too concerned. So Alright. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. We really hope you enjoyed. Sorry, I hope this isn't making you sick. Trying to rotate the camera funny. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, because next time we'll have phoenixes. We'll be finishing the enclosure. It was a lot of work to do on camera, so I'll be doing that off camera. And we will also be going on an adventure. We have many things planned for the next episode. This is mostly my reg regiment. We do, you know... Three things, one thing out in the field, maybe two enclosures, something animal related every single day so that we kind of keep everything scheduled. But if you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for next time. Oh, hope that didn't disturb the egg. And goodbye.